let us pay little more attention to the production function. And we will of course, there are as I said earlier, there are several different kind of production transformation or functions are feasible. We are going to take a particular example, just so that it is convenient. We will learn all the most of the concept using this particular production function. We will say that Q, the Q is amount of output. Better way to remember is quantity, quantity of output. And of course, here we are talking about production functions, what we have that one output only. If we have more than one output, then we cannot talk about the process in terms of production function. So, Q is equal to capital F, this is function representing the technology and what we have K comma L, K is capital and L is labor and we have already discussed what do we mean by capital and what do we mean by labor. Of course, here we are not specifying whether it is physical capital or financial capital or here we are not in L we are not talking about whether it is physical labor or knowledge. We will keep it vague deliberately, so that it is very general. Now, what we are going to do? is that we are going to talk about long run and short run. Have you ever heard these terms long run and the short run? What do we mean by long run and the short run? At least one of the inputs is fixed or constant, it cannot be changed. It cannot be varied. It cannot be varied and long run is a period where it can be easily. Huh. So, short run one in at least one input, one input cannot be varied. And in long run, all the inputs can be varied. So, in this context, of course, we have only two inputs K and L. Typically, typically, it is difficult to vary k in the short run or here let us rather than using short run, let us say in the short duration, it is difficult to vary k. Why? Capital typically is machinery, if we are using machinery just for example, then buying machinery takes time, buying machinery takes time, the DC you can, but labor is relatively easier to hire and fire, but if you look at our country's labor law, even we have difficulty in varying labor. Okay. So, in the short run typically in this course just for understanding of course, it is abstract representation of the real world. When we talk about short run, we will assume that capital is fixed, capital cannot be varied. And in the long run, when we say that long run, what we mean that in that problem, we are able to vary capital as well as labor, because long if you decide to change the capital, it will take some time, but eventually you will be able to buy machinery or sell off machinery. Okay. So, whenever we are talking about long run, we will say that capital can be varied, but if we have more than two inputs, then it would depend on the context, but there it is long run it would be very clear that we can vary all the inputs, but in the short run what you have to keep in mind that at least one input cannot be varied. And also just you know we can say variable input and fixed input. Of course, we are talking about short run, because in long run we can vary everything. So, we are talking about short run. The variable input is the input which can be varied in the short run and fixed input is the input which has to be which is which cannot be varied in the short run. Fine. Let us take an example of capital and labor. Let us take a numerical example in the short run. You can say 
production in the short run. Production in the short run okay. or in other word what we can say production in one variable. Why I am saying in the short run? Because I have already limited myself that q is equal to f k comma l. We have only two variables, two inputs okay. and we are talking about short run. It means one of these inputs cannot be varied. If both cannot be varied, then we cannot talk you know the capital is fixed and labor is fixed, output is fixed. We, we are you know we are not concerned about that. So, we are concerned about at least where one input can be varied. So, let us say where labor can be varied. So, you can think of it in two different ways either that we are talking about production in the short run or we are talking about production in one variable. So, let us say they are basically the same thing. See look at it this q is equal to f fine and in the short run. So, let us say the capital cannot be varied, capital is fixed at k naught label. Okay. So, we can say we can give it if you want we can write a new function which is a function of l only. For example, let us say take Cobb Douglas function here. Okay. What we have is production function is k to the power a l to the power b. Okay. And now, let us say that capital is fixed at label 5. So, 5 to the power a and l to the power b, this is nothing but a function of l only. So, that is what I am saying, these two are the context that we are talking about. Of course, in short run you can have more than one input as fixed inputs, but right now we have only two inputs that we are talking about and we want to vary at least one of them. So, in this context that production in the short run or production in one variable both are the same thing. 